Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day or night. I also hope that you kind of can see that I got a new camera. The other camera was so bad. I'm sorry for the bad quality, but uh, hopefully this is a lot better. Today, I wanted to talk about binaural panning. I was actually recently listening to a Jack Johnson song and I'm a big Jack Johnson fan. And I don't know whether they mixed it this way or they used overhead microphones for congas and bongos and things like that. But these particular instruments sound really good using binaural panning. And also, if you have heard of binaural beats, they use that quite often. And uh, it's just really good for people who are trying to soundscape, meditation music, things like that. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this. It's actually really easy. All right, so we are in Logic right now and I'm working on this song and there are actually congas in this particular song. And I haven't actually done it, so maybe I'll do it in real time for one of them. The other one I actually already used binaural panning on and I think it sounds really good. Okay, so hopefully you're wearing headphones. If you're not, I definitely would because that's kind of really the only way you're gonna be able to tell and hear what I'm talking about. So when you hard pan something left or hard pan it to the right, it's just hearing it in your left ear or it's just hearing it in your right ear. But with binaural panning, it's almost like it's right here. It has a very, very interesting feeling to it as well, and it sounds very full. Let's solo out just the conga that I used this on. Okay, so if you're wearing headphones, you can tell that it's panned, but it's not panned in your usual panning where if you had this pulled up, you would pan left or right. It's actually panned in a very interesting way. So you can actually double click on this. I will show you how to do this in a second. I just wanna explain it a little bit and show you visually what it looks like. The reason that I'm using this is because when you have congas and you have like, you know, two bongos, naturally you're going to be hearing it in the left and you're going to be hearing it in the right and i think using binaural panning just gives it a really uh, full sort of sound so let's actually delete the automation and let's exaggerate this a little bit okay so i just reset the channel strip so that the binaural panning is off the first thing i'm going to do is show you actually how to get it and this is, came up this morning and i knew how to do it a while ago and i forgot so i kind of had to look it up but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click on the congas here or whatever the instrument is, and you're gonna go over here to normally where you would bust something. You're gonna go over here to stereo out, and you're gonna go down to binaural panner. Now you can see that right here, this changed from a normal pan like this to a binaural pan. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is double click on that. And that's what's gonna pull up the binaural panning right here. And ordinarily, it's gonna be right in the middle, uh, but we're gonna kind of go left and right and see where it sounds cool. In my head, I'm kind of hearing boom, 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 boom. And I want most of it to be on the right, but I just want one hit on the left. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to read, and I'm gonna change this to latch. And your latch tool actually automates things in real time, which can make things sound more realistic. So that was pretty good in the beginning there. You can tell that it was a little bit off. So what we're gonna wanna do is turn this back to read first of all, but then we're gonna wanna click A for the automation. And you can see I messed up in the beginning, but the other half, the second half here was spot on. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that over. And when it asks us whether we wanna copy the automation, we're gonna say yes. Now you can see that when you click A, it's exactly the same.
Now from this point you can really fine tune it and tweak it to your liking, but we're going to keep it as is. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I'm going to keep it very short and to the point. Binaural panning is really cool and I hope you guys can implement it into your music. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.